Welcome dear friend. Most probably you are here to fix a boot issue in your Windows PC. Or maybe you are facing an error that says, the selected disk is not a fixed MBR disk. The purpose of this video is not only fixing this particular error, but also getting your Windows back. This error clearly says that your disk type is not MBR, but you are trying to execute a command that is valid only for MBR. In other words, your disk is GPT. And active command is not applicable for you. Let me tell you how to double check your disk type. Please check if you are already inside disk part. If not, from command prompt please type disk part and hit enter. Once you are in disk part, please type list disk. If you see more than one entry, then identify the concerned Windows disk using size and other details over here. Once you identify the disk, please look at this rightmost field that says GPT. If you see star here, then your disk type is GPT. If no star, then your disk type is MBR. With this I can easily say that, this disk is GPT. Little understanding of MBR and GPT is required here. These are basically partition styles. At high level, MBR is the old method and GPT is the new and advanced method. The system partition of MBR is NTFS file system, it can be a separate volume or in some installations it could be the same volume where Windows is installed. As far as GPT is concerned, system partition is strictly FAT32 file system, and it should be a separate volume away from Windows volume. In MBR, firmware looks for BCD store in active partition. In GPT, active partition concept is not applicable, firmware looks for BCD store in FAT32 system partition. Boot configuration data store, shortly known as BCD store, is the place where startup files required to load Windows are kept. This BCD store can get corrupted or deleted accidentally. As a result, you encounter boot-related errors. That is when BCD boot command comes as a savior, it copies the boot files from your installed Windows drive and recreate the corrupted or deleted BCD store. These are the most widely used options in BCD boot command. And mostly people make mistake in these two options. For example, sources not always see colon windows, it could be something else for your PC, especially when you are inside recovery environment. Similarly system partition is not always S. Let me show you how to find exact drive letters for these two options in your PC. Let's start with source. Please open command prompt. And go to disk part. List disk. Based on size please identify your OS disk. In my case it is disk 0. So I'm typing select disk 0. List volume. Now after ignoring the installation disk, these are possible Windows volumes. Some of you might have already identified the drive letter for your Windows volume based on size. But still let's double check. Please make a note of these drive letters, preferably in a small paper. Exit from disk part. Now use dir space, followed by one of the drive letters noted, then a backslash. Repeat this step until you see Windows and Program Files. Please note down the drive letter where you see Windows folder and use the same as the source of the BCD boot command. Now let's see what drive letter we should use after slash s as a system partition. Please go ahead and list volume. You should see a FAT32 volume. In a worst case, if you do not see FAT32, but you are pretty sure that you have GPT disk, then please use these commands one after another. These commands basically shrinks your existing volume and creates a new FAT32 volume. Let's assign a drive letter to the FAT32 volume. We are all set to use this drive letter in our BCD boot command as a system partition. Please exit disk part. Key in the command that we finalized with write parameters. 
You can use all, or UEFI which is more appropriate since we are now working on GPT disk. As you can see, I'm now able to execute the command successfully. Even if you get some errors, I suggest you to run the command again with slash V option, which might give you more details about the error. If you require more assistance on boot issues, please refer the video links provided at the end of description. I hope this was helpful. If you face any questions or challenges, please add your comments below, I'll definitely respond to you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you so much for watching.